press on. After the conversion of the Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul found out that even in establishing churches and dealing with church folk, but not only did he have to deal with the Jews and the Greeks, but he also had to deal with the Gnostics. He had to deal with some black folk and some white folk. And what Paul has insisted, that no matter what has happened in my life, I have made it my business to press on. It could have easily been easy for him to give up his assignment because all folk could remind him of is how he persecuted what he now stands for. But I'm glad that God is rich in mercy, that, that he's rich in forgiveness. Then I'm glad that Paul had, was in such a focused mind of his spirit that Paul said, you could talk about my past. And, and I want to say that every Christian believer in here has one. But, but, but can I tell you that, that your past has you where you are right now? That, that if there were no past, then that means there was no existence. That all of us have a story that can be written. And I want to say this because we discuss it in the office. A lot of people see where you are, but they don't know where you've been. They, they, they think that you got there overnight. They, they, some folk would even say that you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth. But can I tell you, there are some things that even silver spoon folk could tell you that if God had not been with me, I, I, I can't speak for nobody else, but I, I can tell you there are certain things that happen in life that if the favor of God had not been on my side, then my, the end of my story would have only been two pages long. Now, I, I know you've been saved all your life, but, but can I say, don't be ashamed of where you came from. Don't be ashamed of all your downfalls or your mistakes, because it was through those mistakes that you found out who God really was. What I like about what Paul was doing with the Philippian church is Paul was not dividing the church by nationalities or, or by religious background or by color. Can I bless you real good when I tell you that there's only one heaven? Let me, let me help you. There's not a black section. and Y'all come on, talk to me. There, there's not... There's not a white section there. There's not an Indian section, but, but, but this is what the Bible said. There's only one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. God made color, so why would God make color and then separate color? If you ever looked at a rainbow, you will see that all the colors overlap the others.